The Torah prohibits revenge. You were hurt by someone. Physically, financially. Emotionally. Don't take revenge. Sounds a bit silly, doesn't it? Why not? What happened to justice? Isn't it right to take revenge? God takes revenge. Doesn't God stand up for justice? At the end of days, read what the prophets have to say. There's going to be justice. Why is it that of human beings, God expects that we not take revenge? There are many perspectives that we find in the different commentaries. I would like to focus on one in particular because it is so important in understanding how to deal with the difficulties in life. The Rambam writes that the reason why we do not take revenge is because there is nothing in life that is worth getting so worked up over that you're going to lose it build up all that vengeance where you really want to get back at the other person. To be so involved to the point of feeling I've got to take revenge, that represents taking what Rambam says are the vanities of life just too seriously. The truth of the matter is that this is not limited to the issue of revenge. Anger, anger which is so harmful, anger which we know destroys us, it destroys us physically. <laughs> Anger is not good for your heart, and it's not good for your stomach, and it's probably not good for any part of you. Anger is not good for your relationships. People, when they lose it, are capable of saying things that are so painful, they're so harmful. In a fit of anger, a husband could say something to his wife that is devastating. A friend can say to another friend something that just completely destroys the relationship. And all the explanations afterwards will only do a repair job that will go so far. The relationship has now been brought down a level in a way that it will probably never be able to return to what it used to be. We lose it. We get so upset that we lose it. And we do things that are so out of character. Our minds don't work anymore. Where does anger come from? It's an involvement. It's a feeling that there's something I should have gotten and something I needed and something that was so important to me. Rambam is trying to reason with us. The human being has the responsibility to reason with himself. Stop and think. Is it worth reacting this way? Making a fool of yourself? Losing control in a way that you never know what you're going to end up doing. Is it worth blowing a relationship? Is it worth blowing a reputation? What is it that you're getting so worked up over? Does it pay? Does it really pay? I remember seeing the calendar proverb. Anger is punishing yourself for the mistakes of others. And indeed that's what it is. When the Torah says, don't take revenge, Rambam understood that revenge represents a state of mind. Revenge represents an involvement where you get so worked up. And that is improper. That reflects a person just losing total proportion. A human being just forgetting what in life is important and what is less important. So don't take revenge. Don't take revenge. Don't work up vengeance. Be cool. Take life smoothly and easily. And understand, someone wronged you, so he wronged you. Just make sure you don't fall for it a second time. That's what life is like. Of course, you protect yourself and make sure you don't give him another opportunity for it. But why get worked up? Why get so angry? Why make yourself sick? Is it worth it? Is it really that important? The Chafetz Chaim writes that everyone should have his peace fund where he sets aside, he allocates a certain amount of money that he's willing to forego for the sake of not having to get into fights. You feel that this amount of money is something that a person is cheating you over. Does it pay to fight with him? Does it pay to argue? It's a small amount. This is all the same concept. 
don't take revenge, don't overreact, don't go and lose it over something that's vain, passing, and not everlasting. Don't take revenge.